Hello everyone and today we're back with the third part of our object building tutorial for the simulator OpenBVE. I know that at the end of the previous session I've said uh, we'll be looking at uh, textures, how to apply them to our created faces, but I have, uh, I have realized that we basically just created two faces and we haven't even uh, we haven't even applied the logics to it too much in terms of uh, like copying and pasting faces around um, in a, in order to sh to make our work a little bit easier. So let's go with that today, and uh, we'll move on to textures. Uh, we'll move on to textures in part number four. Um, let's just take a look where we have finished last time. We've got these two. We've got these two faces here, which is the front on basically the front and the top of the cube. Now, what I would like to point out, uh, the front of the cube, if you notice, it's upright and it's perpendicular to the to the default view, if you know what I mean. That means if I reload the object, come on, reload, right, not gonna reload obviously, so let's do it like this, black square, there we go, right, it's perpendicular to our view, so that means uh, applying a bit of logic to that, it's never gonna change the Z coordinate, right? We've shown that here, the Z coordinate is always zero. Cons correspondingly to that, uh, the face that is basically horizontal, the top of the cube, will always have the same Y coordinate, right? Because it's horizontal, so it's always one here. So, see? Vertical perpendicular, always same z. Horizontal, always same, always same y. So uh, we'll have to create the third. We'll, we'll create the third. Uh, we'll create the third face today, which will show the last case, and that will be when uh, the actual x coordinate is always the same. So let's do it like this going to be at vertex, the x will always be 0 here, so we'll start with 0, we're starting bottom left corner, so if we rotate the cube, that will be somewhere here, so that means we're going x 0, y 0, but z is 1. The second vertex is going to be x 0, obviously, y 1, z 1, because it's here, right, it's connected to the to the vertical face, sorry, the horizontal face. The third vertex is basically this corner right here, right, this one. So that means it's x0, y1, z0. At vertex number three, number four, I'm sorry, is x0, y0, because we're right here, and by clicking that spot, it al already tells you that it's basically three zeros. So, uh, what we're going to do now, we're going to put at face 0, 1, 2, 3, at face 3, 2, 1, 0, just for demonstration, I'll delete, delete that later on, but I'll show you something. And set color, we, we've got black one, we've got red one, so let's go with the green one, for example set color will be, uh, it's RGB, so it will be 0, 255, 0. So if we've done it correctly, we should now be having, we should now be having the green face right here. And indeed we have done. So, as you can see, this is the last case that means the x coordinate is always the same, it doesn't change. Now, uh, since we have put at phase 0, 1, 2, 3 and, zero and at phase 3, 2, 1, 0, we can actually see all of, the, all of the phases we have created from both sides, that means from back and from front. Now, if you want to finish, now I will show you how to finish the cube easily. I mean, it will, it will uh, save us some time. Let's put this as copied faces, just to make sure you understand what I'm talking about and now if we want to create the back of the cube what do we do here we've got this face already defined we know that this face the back one is going to be the same but it's shifted one meter z-wise correct because it's gonna be here 
So what we, what we can do is we can copy all this stuff. We can put that here. And we basically just go and change the Z from 0 to 1 for all three vertexes. We put save. And as you can see, it is right there. Similarly to that, we can copy the top. And how do we make the top, the bottom? <coughs> Sorry. Obviously, we need this face to move right here. So we we rewrite the y uh, coordinate from one to zero for all of for all four vertices. Boom. Now one more thing that I want to show you: uh, the graphic render of OpenBVE actually renders all these faces since we put at phase one, two, three everywhere. Now uh, we are viewing this front face from the front from the front uh, frontal view, let's say. That means we need the clockwise order of vertices. We can delete this thing. You know, this the faces that will be that will be inside the cube. They they will not be visible anyway once we close the cube with the last with the last face. So we don't need we don't need them to be rendered. We can save the graphic performance here, and that means I have removed the command here, as you can see. I've saved it. If I put put F5 now to refresh, it's gone. It's still here from the front view but the back view is gone. Now, uh, we can do the same for the top. Save it. See, it's gone from the bottom, uh, from, the, from the underside view, it's gone. And we can do the same from the left, uh, for the left uh, face of the cube. So we delete, this, we delete this one, put F5, it's still there on the outside, but the inside is gone. So you can basically you can basically uh, not see the three faces from the inside, but you can still see them from the outside. Now here's the tricky part: if we're moving the face, like we've moved the front face here, we have to realize that by shifting this face, only copying this this face here, we are actually we actually do not want to view it from the front side because if it would be like this, and we would basically be be viewing the inner side of the face, so inside the cube. So that means here, when we have shifted it and we're viewing it from the back, we need to delete this. We need to delete this uh, add face. So that will leave us with the add face three, two, one, zero. And voila, it's still there on the outside, but the inside is gone. And the bottom, it's, it's, it will be the same because if we'll be, if we're looking from the top, we, we don't want to view the top of this face. We want to view the bottom, right? So we have to go with deleting this thing, save it, the inside will now be gone, but the outside is still there. It, it's looking weird probably because we do not have the last face yet, but we'll, we'll fix that real quick. We can copy this face over. And what we do have here is it, on, it is only copied with the at phase zero, one, two, three, obviously, because I have already deleted from there. But that's not the, that's not important at the moment. The important thing is that we need to change the x co coordinate from zero, from being here, to one, so that it connects these faces here from the outside. So that means let's just retype it: one, 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 one. And also, what we have to do, we have to create, we have to retype the at phase from three from 0, 1, 2, 3, to 3, 2, 1, 0. So it will now close the cube. There you go. So we now have a complete cube. Uh, if you check it, like a see-through view here, if you, if you touch the, if you touch the, if you go through like through the face to show you the inside and you can see there's nothing displayed. So we're saving on graphic performance. Um, one thing to mention here, you have to. You always have to associate. Uh, you always have to associate the counterclockwise uh, order of faces with the opposite with the opposite face here, right? So if you want to view the front, it's zero, one, two, three. But if you want to view the back, it's the same face, but from viewed from the other side. You have to go with three, two, one, zero. Similar from the similar for the top and bottom and for the sides. I hope it's clear. 
If it's not, then you can always ask me questions on the forum or even here within the comments, I should be able to answer those. So we've got that thing, uh, we've got that thing uh, cleared up, I hope. Next time I'll be talking to you guys about textures because uh, we'll be putting some textures on our cube. We'll show, we'll show some basic uh, basic parameters of textures. We'll s I'll tell you some recommendations. I'll, t I'll show you how to use the texture coordinates because the textures o have their own way of being put on the faces. And we'll probably take a look at the transparent color and stuff like that. So stay tuned and I'll see you all guys next time.